my research is dedicated to advancing technologies in the conversion between light and electricity to facilitate the efficient use of solar power and developing new molecular materials for fabricating organic solar cells and OLEDs. I'm honored to be the first Chinese scientist to be awarded the Chemistry of the Transition Metals Award by the Royal Society of Chemistry. For seven consecutive years, I have been named in the candidate list of highly cited researchers. I was ranked as the 26th most cited scientist in the field of inorganic and nuclear chemistry in an index compiled by Stanford University. I also received the Culture Senior Research Fellowship, first class prize in Natural Science Award from the Ministry of Education of the People's Republic of China, Ho Leung Ho Li Foundation Prize for Scientific and Technological Innovation, second class prize in State Natural Science Award of the People's Republic of China, and the inaugural Research Grants Council Senior Research Fellowship. I was elected Fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry in 2005 and a founding member of the Hong Kong Young Academy of Sciences in 2018. Since 2018, I have been conferred to carry out endowed professorship in energy in recognition of my work on the development of advanced materials for enhanced energy uses. In the past, inorganic LED light sources could only support fat screens. Our research team developed low-cost OLED light sources whose material flexibility makes them compatible with the curved screens of digital displays. These OLED light sources are also preferable to liquid crystal displays, LCDs, as they are more energy efficient and can be printed onto a surface using inkjet or even screen printing technology. As researchers, we often publish academic articles and these are read and even cited by others, contributing to the broader academic communities. I believe this is the most important value of our work. This is also why I'm still actively conducting research and have published more than 800 scientific articles in international journals. As senior researchers, we should nurture young talents in some cutting-edge research areas by building an environment for quality research. This involves many elements, for example, providing a conducive platform for research, facilitating knowledge transfer, and offering a vibrant environment for interdisciplinary research. Additionally, I'm optimistic about the future of chemistry research with the ample research opportunities found in the Greater Bay Area and mainland China. By collaborating with top researchers in mainland China through various joint interdisciplinary projects, I'm sure we can create more impact cases to benefit our world. <laughs>